Hi guys, Hrithik here and in this video, I'm gonna show you which things are best for the Thunderzap kernel. So first of all, to do that, just go to the Play Store and then search for the Thunderzap. Then you could see a Thunderzap control designed by Vardin Chitre, install it and open. And first of all, I'm gonna say I'm using the UEureka device. It's Eureka Plus running CM12.1 and in the GPU set the big to garner one demand CPU max at 1459 and CPU minimum at 200 and in the little garner interactive CPU max 1113 CPU minimum 200 and in the hotplex style load bar to load balancer and in the memory management just scroll up and even the VM settings change the VFS cache pressure from 100 to 60 by default it will be in 100 and then I'm gonna show you how to use the Thunderzap charger control so just turn on the master switch don't change the values as you like it must be used with care and change the AC charging current to 14 MHz 1400 MHz it has a highest of 1500 megahertz but it may harm your battery so just keep it at 1400 and this could charge your U Eureka within 2 hours I mean less than 2 hours before it says it needs 3 hours to charge and USB charging that's your wish as it has a high power of 1000 megahertz I don't have any USB charging or any power bank so I'm not using this so these are the recommended settings for the heavy user and if you are a heavy gamer then I'll post the settings in the description please check that and set them as cities so your game should work pretty well and see you guys in my next video thanks for watching hit thumbs up if you like